Uh, yeah, so that's one of the things that, that drew me, uh, noticing that they were translating, uh, but also seeing the record of the Buddhist Text Translation Society, uh, the uh, massive amount of material that they put out, uh, translating the texts and Master Hua's commentaries, so you have them in Chinese and in English, um, which, which provides a great way to uh, deepen your Chinese um, by having a, a more direct access uh, to the, these texts. Uh, so for me, the, the phrase, a kid in a candy shop, is appropriate. Um, it's uh, really quite a bit of material. There are many translation projects ongoing um, and meetings four or five times a week of uh, translating a specific text as a group, uh, which is an interesting process. My translation interest began in graduate school, uh, so really 1984, so this is about 30 years um, of reading Chinese texts, and my training is in Chinese history and, and literature. This is a different type of Chinese. Um, Buddhist Chinese is, is, is a bit uh, different from the uh, stuff that I have learned, so this expands one's ability to uh, engage with the language, and so it's it's feeding my uh, my uh, passion. Which uh, now that the word uh, that's used is a vow, and a vow is a way of articulating your uh, your deepest aspirations.